Hey everyone. So, I thought, uh, there's all these shows like the Naked and Afraid and you know all these things where they just kind of drop you in the middle of nowhere, right? <clears throat> of course, there's got to be a really big airplane right when I start talking. <clears throat> so, you know, those shows always drop you off in the middle of nowhere and then you got to survive, etc. So it's got me thinking, you know, what would be the first thing that I would find if I were dropped off in some random place? And because I live here in Texas, it's one of those things where the very first thing that comes to mind is I have to find water, a water source. You know, water is life. I mean, you know, you can go without food and stuff for a little bit longer, you know, but uh, water, water is going to be your life source. And so then you have to find, you know, a clean source, all that kind of good stuff. Um, it has rained a little bit here recently, and um, this park that I normally go to, usually all, all the streams and everything are dry, but I did find this uh, little bit of water here. Now this is very stagnant water. You know, it's not moving water. This is, this is definitely rain water. So would I drink this? Um, because I know it's rain water and because I know it's fairly fresh and new, I would try to purify it the best that I possibly can. I would maybe probably, you know, boil it a few times, filter it a few times, etc. I mean, um, but that's only because I know this area. You know, if I didn't know the area, I may not risk it by drinking this water. But, uh, you know, it's just it's something that you have to consider, you know, and what other... I mean, you can tell the water has come through here, see, but, um, you know, when is it going to come through again? How often does it come through here? You know, getting to know a whole new region is, is very different. But water would definitely be my number one. I got to find this first. And then I would try, probably make camp somewhere around that water source. And, uh, you know, just like places in Alaska, there's, uh, you know, they made their towns and stuff like the Yukon, stuff like that. You know, because that's a big water source. Obviously, this little creek is not going to give me, you know, fish or whatever but uh you know it may not give me enough water forever but anyway uh, my point is you know if I were just dropped off in somewhere that would be the first thing that I would find and then I'd try to make camp somewhere around that water source because again water's life water is important so um what would be the thing, first thing that you would look for uh, I'm curious what your answers and uh I'll see you later bye